Hey guys, welcome back to Witch's Heart. So, it's been a while, and I forgot to uh, do something special for Claire's birthday, so I'll probably make something for the end of this video, so look forward to that. So, I forget exactly what I was doing. Ash is doing something in his room, why don't I go... okay. All right, Ash, what are you up to? Whoa, that's a lot of papers. This is all your research on the witch? Yes, it is. Every last page. By the way, Miss Claire, I recall you weren't very familiar with the witch Dorothy, were you? Shall I teach you, seeing as we're here? I think it's good to know for someone living in this country. Yeah, I guess so. If you insist, I suppose you can teach me. Alright, understood. In that case, I'll be your teacher, Mr. Ash. Okay, Mr. Ash. I'm gonna call him Ash Sensei because, you know, why not? <laughs> now I'm getting kind of excited. His fetish is out. Well then. <clears throat> the truth is, 12 years ago, there was a massacre carried out by the witch Dorothy. In this very mansion. Here? Yes. The victims were the town's mayor, Nicholas, and his subordinates. 26 people in all. It's said the bodies were in a pitiful state. They were in pieces, organs carved out. Dorothy appeared to enjoy using the remains to decorate the room. I suppose killing them wasn't enough. She was a heinous witch, after all. And for some reason, she went missing after this incident. Why is that? Nobody knows. Some theorize she ran away, but... I can't agree with that myself. What do you mean? Ah, well, you see. Just as Dorothy disappeared, a strange rumor sprung up in her place. Strange rumor? People report seeing a terrifying, fleshy monster in this mansion. Wait, could that be? I imagine it may be the same monster that you mentioned, Miss Claire. And I... I believe that monster is, in truth, the witch Dorothy herself. What have I been calling since the second I found out Dorothy existed? What have I been calling out? Well, hey there, Sirius. Seems like you're having a fun conversation. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh... An inhumane witch who murdered 26 people 12 years ago. Dorothy is, in fact, the fleshy monster. <laughs> what is this? You wrote this? That's not funny. Ah, uh, um, that's... Oh. Oh. You know, it makes sense that Sirius would be mad about that. Ash! You don't even know a single thing. So don't you think it's bizarre just to decide that, that to be evil? Huh? You never saw it for yourself. You, you take outside information as fact. Everyone like you is an utter fool. So very, very foolish. S sorry. This is why I hate outsiders. They're all selfish. Just being around you pains me. If only I could get you out of here. Uh, I got him mad. Are you okay, Ash? Y yes, I'll be fine. Deciding it to be evil when you don't know anything. Sure, maybe it's not good to have your thoughts influenced by just a little information. But wouldn't it be just as strange to decide she's a good person despite knowing nothing? Well, you gotta keep in mind the fact, Ash, that he knows her. He is aware of her existence. 
So it stands to reason that he would have a deeper understanding of her than you, an outsider. He knows her. You don't. Get over yourself. At any rate, I can't believe he got so angry. I think Sirius must be a witch adherent. A witch adherent? Yes, some consider themselves followers of the witch. I mean, aren't there some who blindly believe in something terrifying? Just like there are some who believe something is terrifying simply for it being different? Like a strange cult. It may be foolish, but those sorts exist. Ah, ouch. I feel lousy. Well, you should, Ash, because you're a piece of shit. Oh. Hi, Willardo. What's up? Willardo? Huh. That's Claire. Yes, the only person in this entire mansion who has boobs. You will respect my authority. Eh? What was that? Why'd he come out of Noel's room? Well, it doesn't matter. For now, I should catch up to Sirius. Or... Apologies, I'll be asleep. Okay. Yo, Willardo, you want to tell me what's up? What's up? Need some? If not, then leave me alone. Well, you apparently have figured something out, and that's not very good for me. Because the more people figure out in this game, the more danger Claire is in. But hey, Sirius, what's up? I excuse me. Serious? Uh, um... Alright, Serious, you're gonna give us the lowdown. And apparently we had to switch to Serious for this moment. What did you come here for? To say apologize to Ash, perhaps? Uh, well, I understand how you feel. But I think I thought hitting him was too much. The way she sticks her nose in everything. I've always hated that about her. You don't know anything. Irritating. Twelve years ago. After Claire Elford left this mansion. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like a demented Christmas. Here, that gruesome incident took place. I can never forgive them. The ringleader of the incident that who put all the blame on Lady Dorothy is is that Noel's dad? Question mark as well as the monster who ate her. You believe him too, don't you? Eh? You think Lady Dorothy did all that, don't you? Um, well, whatever I say, no one will believe it. You're the same as the rest. You've only heard from others that Lady Dorothy was a heinous witch, yes? It's not as if you ever witnessed her killing someone. After that incident, I kept desperately telling people Lady Dorothy was not the culprit. Yet I was young at the time, so everyone dismissed it as a child's nonsense. I couldn't care less about what becomes of this girl who finally, who's finally just now returned. But Lady Dorothy would care. She was always worried for her. Long even after she disappeared. That's why it's the least I can ask. I want you, at the very least, not to speak badly of Lady Dorothy. Please, don't be swept up by these rumors. Or else her efforts will, be, will never be repaid. Wouldn't that just be too cruel? There, reach inside that empty head of yours and pull out something, some memories, please. We need them right now. 
Um. So you're saying Miss Dorothy was falsely accused, right? If you want to say something to me, you can just say it. If it's hard to, just say what you can. I'll listen. Ser God damn it, serious. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's the kind of person she was. <sighs> You're beyond simple, you know that? You'll just believe anyone, won't you? Huh? For a whole host of reasons, I can't talk about everything right now. But when things are ready, I may want to tell you the truth. Why not tell me now, man? End my suffering. Let me know what's going on. Who knows if your brain will be able to understand, however. You got me there. Look, I won't deny I'm not the brightest, but... <laughs> I'll tell you soon. Work your little mind to, the f to its fullest when I do. Jeez, do you always have to be so mean about it? I understand, okay? So they're not related, but god damn it, if that isn't like either cousins or older brother and little sister. My god, that is exactly what it is. It's awesome, and hello, Noel. Or Patricia, or whatever you are. Mm. Ah, good morning, Rogue. Same as ever. The worst possible awakening. Is she still safe? I see. That's good, then. Wait, 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 wait. My boy. You're talking to Rogue. And I didn't expect to be playing as this dapper man. Oh, hello. Uh... What attack do you use? I wonder. Or do you even attack? Ow! Oh, I have a knife too? Okay. Let's go talk to Claire, okay. Uh, nope. Oh wait, no, let's talk to Sirius. That's probably a better idea with my time. Also, I noticed that with Noelle, I didn't have to uh, do anything with the demons. Hello. Hold on one just second. <laughs> I fuck. Oh my god, I knew it. Noel can see her. Ash, is your cheek swollen or something? Huh? Wow, it is. Are you okay? <laughs> just, just stumbled. I'm fine. Please don't worry about it. Dumbass. How clumsy would it be to trip your, and hit your cheek like that? Come up with a better lie. <sighs> well, Otto's calling as he sees it, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I just got to... Okay. The, the food is sure is tasty tonight. Claire must know something, too. But she's real bad at hiding it. It was my fault. What? Your words truly did make my blood boil, but I think I went too far, considering your ignorance in the matter. S serious? My boy's apologizing. It's okay. It's my fault too. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Very true. You were to blame in the first place. Baby steps. We're having baby steps here. He's learning to love Ash. Except no one should ever love Ash ever because he's a piece of shit. Um... <laughs> I think next we're going to end up going to that tea party, which is a, a not-so-good thing. Well, we're serious now, so that's cool. Oh, hey Ash, what's up? Listen, I'll, I'll allow you to leave your room now. 
but never do such a thing again, or else I really will throw you out the window. Serious? You're forgiving me? Hooray, thank you so much. I'll be sure to get you your permission for anything in the future. I can imagine how the conversation would go. Hey, Sirius. What was that? Hey, Sirius, do you mind if I stick a, a knife in Claire? No, oh, why, sure, as long as you ask my permission, dear sir. Now, let's talk to Noel. It's locked. Noel should be in here, yes? I'd best not force the door open. But if I call him, I may have to wait out here. Should I defeat these monsters first? Ugh, but... Ugh, monsters, I hate them. Okay, well... Die? With the weakest attack in this game? Day one, night. Oh, we're going back in time. Yes, it's as you suspect. My name is actually Patricia. Oh, she really is Claire. She has no memory of the past. Not of me, or you, or Miss Dorothy. Also, my name is Patricia. If you look down here at my name tag, it says Patricia. She's forgotten all of it. Why? Please, could you refrain from telling Claire the truth? Because she's no good at lying. If others find out the truth about her, she'll be killed for sure. Sirius and Noelle seem to be the only ones who actually give a shit about Claire. What does he mean, she'll be killed? By who exactly? It's better she doesn't know the truth. If she can leave here without knowing... As he told me this, he looked terribly exhausted. There was much that didn't sit right, honestly, but I chose to follow his instructions and said nothing to Claire. Noel, what do you know? What are you afraid of? What about you? Do you want to be? Do you want to remain forgotten by her? Better to not know. Better to stay forgotten. I can't think that's true. That's why I'll talk with him again tonight, and tomorrow. I'll tell Claire the truth. On day five. Sirius, you gotta survive to day n to night five. That can't be. Hmm? Is that the only way left? What was he talking to? There's really no other way? Maybe the only way really is to kill Claire. Noel. Come on, I, I'm i vouching for you. I'm vouching for you. I hit my mic. And I'm vouching for Patricia, wherever she is, buried deep inside you. Ugh. Kill Claire. Oh, no. Oh, serious. What is it? Serious, are you going to be smart or are you going to be stupid? Were you talking to someone? No? Did you need me? No. It's... nothing. What's the meaning of this? There was no one else in Noel's room. Who in the world was he talking to? Now that I think about it, I haven't a clue what he came to this mansion for. What's this about killing? Oh god, hi. Should I really trust this man? No. Trust the lesbian that he will become. That was a really weird sentence, but I, I'll stand by it. Whew, I'm refreshed. Claire, did you remember the invitation we received from Lime? Right. Oh yeah, we did get that. 
How would you just like nonchalantly like, oh yeah, that's right. That tea party invitation we got from a demon who stabbed herself in the throat upon meeting me for the first time. Yeah, that one. I, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Shall we go together then? Of course. It'll be fun. It should be fun with you, Zazel. Fulfill the wishes of the troubled demons. I would rather go to a tea party, honestly. And where was it I had to go to Lime's room? Hello, everyone. It's been a while. Master Strawberry. Oh, Charlotte. You're in a new outfit. <gasps> what? What was that? A okay, I'm making a call here. If I walk through that door and I go to like an Alice in Wonderland thing where I'm following a rabbit into a rabbit hole, I swear to God. What? What? Getting sucked in. Are you are you serious right now? What's going on here? Lime always likes to be flashy, doesn't she? Mm. Nice palette swap, and she looks cute. Alright. Oh my god. What the heck is this? That's quite the effort she put in, giving us costume changes. And my god, that hat looks adorable on Uzi Zell. Well, let us go. Lime. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Meanwhile, while Claire's in Alice in fucking Wonderland... Kill Claire. I'll just have to forget about it. It's absolutely inconceivable that Noelle will try to kill Claire. Hmm? What's this? Oh, that's right. This is that dithol ether I concocted with Lady Dorothy. Come to think of it, was it also not late was it not also Lady Dorothy who taught me how it was made? Hmm, but wait. The sweet smell. I feel as if I've... Ah! Is this what I smelled last night? Which means he was roaming around here. Dithol ether is used in anesthetics, so taking in a large dose of it would no doubt render one unconscious. Don't tell me. Did Ash intend to put me to sleep? Thanks to my special training with La Lady Dorothy, I have a resistance to medicine. So perhaps it worked poorly, thus I woke up. Still though, why take it so far? In fact, why would he have such a thing in the first place? Now that I think back, there are many other illogical points. Indeed, I could have sworn I locked my door that night, and yet... Did he unlock it? By picking the lock, perhaps? What? Why? Why would he do that just to see some books? That's bizarre. That's very bizarre indeed. Between Ash and Noel earlier. Perhaps I don't know anything about anyone. Except Claire. She's the only one you can trust. Maybe Willardo. Don't give me those eyes, Willardo, because you're the only one I trust in this place. Yo. Serious, be safe. You're the only one who knows what's going on. <laughs> waiting, waiting. Lime is waiting. She sure is. Oh, I see. It's one of these. 
Oh my goodness. There we go. I made it. And... Oh, it's an actual tea party. Sweet. Hey, Charlotte. Lime sure is amazing. She's been half the day preparing this tea party. Me? I get bored midway for sure. Well, that's because you don't have an appreciation for terms for life, like Lime. Oh my god. Welcome, Zizel and Claire! Did you bring your invitation? What's all this about? Yeah, <laughs> cute, huh? Hey, you know Alice in Wonderland? It's this book I read the other day. I thought it was so cute, so I prepared all this stuff. Okay, Claire, you sit there, across from me. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> gotcha! Popping cushion. I knew it would be worth ordering that one. Alright, so I thought today we'd have an informal gathering between us and Claire. Yay, yay! I hate all of you. By the way, I'm the Cheshire Cat. Charlie's the match, the March Hare. I fucking knew it. Zizel's the Mad Hatter. And Claire is Alice. I guess you'd call this a girl's night out. The only one missing is Noel. Let's have a girl's talk, everybody. Sure, why not? But lewdness is forbidden. How am I supposed to tell everyone I held hands? Come on, man. Talk? About what? Yeah, <laughs> good point. As a host, I guess I gotta decide. Alright, Claire. Tell us about yourself. Eh? I know plenty about Charlie and Zizel, but I don't know anything about you. Okay, time for Claire's Ask Me Anything. It's an, it's an AMA on Reddit. If anyone's got any questions for Claire, ask away! For instance, how about which one of us do you like the most? Okay, so... I'm a fan of crazy, so Lime gets a point in that category. Zizel is just kind of calm, cool, and collected. And she's quirky because she really likes rock, paper, and scissors for some unknown reason. And Charlotte is just like that crazy girl. Ooh. I'm going to say I like Zizel the most. Well, I guess Zizel, because since she's helping out me out the most... My, you have good taste. Praise won't get you anything, though. Yeah, you two get along so well, it makes me so jelly. Come to think of it, Claire, where do you live? I built a hut in the woods near town, so I live there. Alone? Yes, I'm by myself. Why not live in town instead of the woods? Why by yourself, Nia? Er, well, I was an abandoned child. I don't have any blood relatives. Zane, yeah? Abandoned? You poor thing, that must have been so niard. What was wrong with me? Nah, it's not really like that. There was someone who took me in, even though we had no relation. But you still live by yourself now. Why's that? The person who took me in left this world four years ago. They said I could keep the house, but I felt lonely staying there by myself. I felt awkward being alone in the busy town, so I built a hut in the woods. I felt like living among nature would make me less lonely. Do you want to see your parents, Claire? Um, who knows? I can't really say. I don't even remember them. Your parents abandoned you. Do you hate them? No way. I'm sure they had their reasons. Well, I mean, even if they didn't, I don't think I'd have a grudge. You're real soft, aren't you? Look, it doesn't matter either way, right? It's not like she'll ever meet them. Yeah, unless they come for me, I'll surely never know. You don't think about why you were abandoned? Hmm, well, I wouldn't get an answer, would I? 
You don't want to know the truth? The truth? Oh, no. Nya nya? What? It must be Rogue. Upset about being the only one left out. Eh? Is she really the type to be bothered by stuff like that? I wanted her to join in myself. No, perhaps she's just irritated to see us having fun without her. How selfish is that? Really, she's like the Queen of Hearts. Is this really the time for chatter? Let's jump out of here. They're just going to leave me behind, aren't they? <laughs> just see you later, Claire. Oh, okay. Phew, that was one heck of a girl's night. Loaded with thrills. We can't stay here for long. Perhaps we should finish up quickly. Wait, wait, wait up, but everyone's dressed up all cute. How will we snap a photo for the memories? Lime, you have the best ideas I've ever heard. <laughs> Perhaps we can allow time for that. Sounds good, let's take a picture. Right, I'll go along with that. Okay then, Cameron, stand by. Now I'm going to get real close. And what does Milky Molt? What does Moldy Milk get you? Cheese. Oh my god. And I like how they make it so I have to click on this. I can look at this as much as I want. <laughs> now everybody say thumbnail. <laughs> God damn, I love this game. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you, Claire. Next time we meet, we'll probably be in hell. Way to ruin the mood, Glime. And that was only one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that rose. How pretty. Give that to me, please. Sure. I knew I had one. And piano solo. Music cues are fun. All right, everyone. Move out the way. I gotta go. Do something. Well, we might as well go check up on Sirius, considering he was in mortal danger. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. God fucking damn it, Sirius. Willardo? Yo. B Willardo? So, you showed up, Claire. But you're a second too late. Although, as I see it, I couldn't ask for a better situation. <laughs> it's too bad you'll have to die knowing nothing, but... You can curse your blood. Farewell, witch's spawn. That, no, wait. What's going on? So we're on day four now. But Claire's dead. Side Lime, okay, I can work with that. But what I can't work with is the fact that this is uncharted territory. Oh, 
Ah, oh, man. Didn't work out, did it? Oh well, it happens. Seeing as it's a legendary treasure that grants any wish. No matter what you do, there's always going to be one. There's always going to be somebody who wants it. Tell me, do you have a wish you'd be willing to kill for? Welcome to hell, Claire. Why would I have to save before that? What? What? Wait. Oh my god, I'm in the astral tea party. Mm. Where is this? This is hell, my dear. Oh, hey. Go on your way. Oh, hi guys. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Get, get, you son of a... Wanna die. Patty. For Patricia. Lady Dorishi. Oh. Serious. And there we all are. With family! Oh, serious. And everyone, sparkle, sparkle. And that's me. Oh, uh, it's locked. Well. Um, hey there, buddy. I'm passionate about growing these. Well, that's good for you. Always have a, always have a hobby. Um, where exactly am I supposed to be going? Oh, hey. Oh, it's serious. Serious? Man, you look good for a guy who got shot in the head. What is this place? Good, you're alive. Uh, are you okay? Whoa! Don't touch me. Huh? You're going to betray me too, aren't you? I'm sick and tired of being tricked. Indeed, I can't trust a single human. Stay away from me. What the fuck do you mean? Serious? Something strange about him. I need to go after him. Get over here. Out. You, you. Get back here, you Naruto running jackass. Yo, I'm gonna fuck. Get, get over here. Hey, serious. Shut up. Let go of me. Serious? I'm getting real tired of you. Over here. Just let me one more time, boy. Go ahead. See what happens. You're getting the sandal. He's a... Get over here. Lion, what are you doing just watching this? Yahoo! Claire, hello. Want some tea? Huh? Neither here nor there. What's the matter with you? I'm looking for Sirius. Ooh, is that right? Then I'll help you. Oh, what? <laughs> he was right behind me and I teleported. Okay, thank you, Lime, I guess. Get over here. Okay, that's it. It's the sandal time. Sirius. Ow! Let go, you stupid brute! Then stop running, okay? Something's weird with you. What in the world happened? Weird? Me? It's you all who are acting bizarre. Eh? Noelle, Ash, Willardo, they're all acting absurdly. They're all nothing but evil. 
I was right. Humans aren't to be trusted. Acting absurdly? Why? <laughs> There's no why about it. They simply are. So I know you must be evil too. You're my enemy. You're trying to trick me. What? How do you figure that? I've had enough. I'm fed up. I don't want to put my hope in anything or have it betray me. Uh, um... Why, why, why? Why is it always me who has to suffer all this? I'm serious. <laughs> Shut up. Don't talk to me. Things took a turn for the worse to start with you because you mentioned the last... Left the mansion. Everything went wrong. Even though you know, know nothing. Even though you've seen nothing. Even though you forgot everything. Excuse me? <laughs> it's all your fault. You can't understand how I feel. The likes of you could never... Gah! Listen to me! I'm telling you to just tell me because I don't get it! Didn't you say yesterday you were going to tell me everything? Now stop grumbling yourself already! If you think something's my fault, you can just hit me with it, alright? Even if it means hurting me, then fine. Still, I do have a heart. Crystalline though it may be. So please, be gentle. God, Claire is done with your shit, Sirius. Stop shouting. My ears are ringing. You're loud enough as it is. Sorry. Well, you are a simpleton, a moron, and not bright. Those are all mean. Those all mean the same thing. How badly do you want to insult me? So even if you were evil too, it isn't, it's inconceivable I'd be fooled by you. Well, I'm not evil in the first place. And I don't intend to trick you. Truly, if you're lying, I'll make you get a thousand needles. Whether it's a thousand or ten thousand, I'll eat them all for you. You really are stupid, aren't you? Life's easier that way, right? This is a character arc. We have the character admit she's an idiot. Now, tell me only what you want to tell me. No, I've put it off long enough. I'll tell you everything. About Ash, Willardo, Noel, and... About Lady Dorothy. Alright, serious. Let's do this.